So let's get started with something very familiar for you, hopefully. We're st we start back in, uh, I think, third grade or something like that, right? And then we move very rapidly on towards university level. But let's get started. I told you that statistics as a start and as still as an integrated part of this whole inferencing thing, the nice uh, intelligent way to use probability theory to say something about the world, we will never stop doing combined with that what is known as descriptive statistics, which means looking at the numbers. Here are some numbers, let's look at them, let's try to summarize the story of those numbers in a few key summary statistics. That's the purpose of those numbers here. That is to tell the short story about a large amount of data. For instance, some well-known little guy called the mean, right? I hope you recognize the mean. I will be so friendly to define it exactly for you. Here it is. The mean of a sample is the sum of all my numbers divided by the number of numbers, if I should, can say it like that, right? So we, we add all them all up and we divide by n. We have probably, I know, a, a pretty large diversity of people in here when it comes to mathematical background. So sometimes I may say something which may be difficult for someone and may be so embarrassing for others to listen to that they can hardly stay in their own body. So my apologies for that, but here it comes. This funny sign, this is a capital sigma. This is the Greek S. S for summation. It means that we sum some numbers which we have called x1 up to xn and then we add them up. So this is the summation sign, right? It's a math, math expression for that we add things up, right? We're gonna have an example in a sec. Let's just do the other guy, the cousin of the mean, that is the median. The median is the middle observation. The typical observation. Now that was two definitions, let's try. And now the way, then I've given you five numbers, I'm gonna not uh, re-sample them now. So I could have sampled here, I've done that previously, but I'm not gonna do it. You're 185, 184, 194, 180, 182. So I sampled five completely at random from the Danish population. I had these five height values in centimeters. We're going to do it slightly better, hopefully, after the break or during the break. But let's see how that works. So n, here is five. I have five observations. The mean is, as the summation sign indicates, x1 up to, you could say in this case, I would have x1 up to x5. The five numbers, I add them up. I divide by five, the mean height is 185 centimeters, period. Third grade, fourth grade material, right? Fourth grade. The median, I'm sure many of you, if you don't remember, but probably you've met that little guy also. The median is a slightly different way to tell the story about uh, the typical number or whatever you might call it. The way to find it comes here. This is also the definition, you could say. The definition of the median is the middle number in an ordered sequence of the numbers, right? When we order them, we sometimes also call them x1. We use this parenthesis notation. So this sequence of numbers, x1 up to x5, the ordered sequence is the one I've given you there right? The five ordered, and it's then, when it's an unequal number, there is a unique middle version, right? There are five here, so the number three is the middle one. Then, just to make the example, so this is, I said the, the, the middle one was 184. What if I had a, a basketball guy coming in as the sixth number here, just to exemplify? What would happen then? Well, if you read my book, you will see 
That's the definition of the median in this case. Now, if you order them, there is no middle number, but then I take the average of the two middle numbers. That's the definition of the median, right? Which is 184.5. But actually, if I then average these six numbers, I would get the mean height of 193 centimeters. Can you see the effect, the difference now between the mean and the median? The mean is more sensitive to single extreme observations, right? A single basketball guy among six would change the mean from 185 up to 193, a pretty large difference in, in summary story about what's going on, right? What about the median? Well, the median doesn't care at all about whether we have dwarfs in the one end or basketball guys in the other end. The median only looks at the middle number, so whatever extremes we have, it doesn't really care. It just counts how many we have, right? So, so the median is more robust thing sometimes. So if we have data that is uh, not very nicely distributed, some would prefer the median, actually. Actually, for instance, the low, very low practical thing that I saw recently was that a few years ago they changed the way that they summarize uh, emergency ambulance times in, uh, in, our, in Denmark and the Copenhagen area. They changed from reporting the mean to reporting the median, which makes sense because the distribution of ambulance times is kind of a right scoot thing, a lot of small ones and then a few longer. So it's, it's not symmetric, it's not nice in any way. Um, and then the other thing was it's very nice because when you then change to the median, it becomes slightly smaller. So, so they changed it without... Uh, afterwards, they admitted that. Ah, we also changed the way we did it, but look at how nice the numbers are. Um, now, this, in fact, was my last thing before the break, but now we are going to have a... What's it called? A first-time thing. Well, a, something that can go very bad. If, let's see what happens. I'll see if we can make this happen. Now I am going to experiment a little bit with something. You may have seen it before. It's a kind of a little teaching thing. And it, it all depends on you and how it goes, whether I'm going to redo it. Now, the next two minutes and in the break, you have the option to be part of the activity here a little bit. I have prepared a little quiz. The way you can, uh, it's a very small quiz, so it'll take you around uh, between five and eight seconds to complete the, ah, between 10 and 15 seconds to complete the, the, the quiz. There are two questions I show it to you here. One is a test question, whether you listened in on the first uh, part of my lecture. Um, slightly, slightly silly, but... Uh, and then I'd like to collect some more data on the heights and uh, see what happens there on, uh, if we get the time at the end of the lecture, which it's my plan. The way you do it is to go get this app called Socrative. Choose the student version if you want to play on. Log in and use uh, my initials, Pair BB. There is a room ready for you, and uh, I think I started the quiz already, otherwise I'll go double check now the second that I started it. So please uh, play with me, and it will be so embarrassing if, I, if you don't want to play just a little bit with me, right? So, so at least this is the first day, so be nice to me, right? Play with me now, and then you can just skip me later if you don't want to play with me. Um, so, that's also the way I'm going to do it usually. I'm going to talk for 45 minutes, and then I'm going to give you a 15 minutes break, and then I'm going to talk for another 45 minutes, plus minus a few minutes every now and then, but that's my aim. So, break time.